Hi, I'm Xavier Kurian. I'm Director of Solutions and Alliances at Dell Technologies. Hi, I'm Jay Chauda, Head of Engineering at PhonePay. And we are here to demonstrate the next-gen pooling technologies that we have implemented in our data center. Data centers today are typically air-cooled and the efficiency of a data center is measured by a metric called PUE, which is power usage efficiency. This metric in India is typically at about 1.6, which means if you have 1.6 megawatts of power in a data center, one megawatt is going to be used for IT and the rest of the 0.6 is going to be used to cool the one megawatts of IT equipment. At scale, this presents an opportunity to improve PUE and save power. At PhonePay, we are committed to being environmentally conscious and want to minimize the power consumed in cooling and give that power back to the grid. This commitment is what made us look at ways to reduce the PUE. This data center has a planned PUE of 1.27. It is expected to reduce power consumption by 1.58 megawatts. NTT has been an equal partner in this journey, not only providing expertise, but unstinted support and commitment towards joint objectives. Let's go take a look at the data center that's going to give back 1.58 megawatts of power to the grid. Typically, a data center is an air pool, which means cold air is used as a medium to manage the overheating of the server. So let's show you our air cooled setup. This is our cold air containment area. Over here, we have a 42U standard rack in which we have mounted around 13 servers. These servers are consuming approximately 7 kilowatts of power. In this area, the cold air is pushed from below via the false flooring. This cold air is then sucked by the servers and this air will cool the CPUs of the server and hot air is exhausted out from the back side into the hot aisle. The industry standard for an air-cooled data center is about 1.6 PUE and that's largely driven by the temperature and the volume of air that you can push into this cold aisle containment area. If you increase the volume, you risk breaking containment. Reducing the temperature reduces efficiency. As an alternative, let's look at the next technology. We're in the hot aisle of a TCLC cooled area, which is direct contact liquid cooling. The rack here has 40 servers in it and consumes about 80 kilowatts. About 60% of that power, however, is cooled using a liquid. A liquid is carried into the server and hot liquid is carried back out. Now, since the CPU is the most power hungry and heat generating component of a machine, doing this DCLC setup reduces the PU to less than 1.3. The warm coolant from the racks is then transported via the pipes beneath the false flooring all the way to the CDU where the next phase of heat transfer happens. The heat from the warm coolant is taken out via warm water in the CDU. So we have seen the air-cooled setup which gives us the PUE of 1.6. We have seen the DCLC setup which gives us the PUE of around 1.3. But now we have something even more cooler to show which promises a much more efficient PUE. So we are talking about liquid immersion cooling setup. So let's go take a look at it. Introducing the newest and the latest innovation in the field of alternate cooling. We call it the liquid immersion cooling. In liquid immersion cooling, we have a horizontal tank or we call it as liquid immersion rack. In this rack, we fill up around 1100 liters of coolant or a synthetic oil. This oil is maintained at a temperature of 40 degrees. In this tank, we immerse 48 servers, which in total takes about 20 kilowatts of power. How this works is the oil from the rack absorbs heat from which, which are generated by the servers running. This oil is then carried to a, to a CDU, which exchanges heat using heat exchangers into water. And that water is then pumped onto the, onto the roof into a dry cooler. Again, working at very high temperatures, the oil works at about 40 degrees. The water can be as hot as 38 degrees 
and therefore it is a lot more efficient to cool the servers that are that are working there are a few modifications that need to be done on a server for it to be able to work immersed first you can't use thermal paste it dissolves into into the oil heat sinks need to be modified fans need to be removed and and power supplies need to be modified to be able to work immersed inside a liquid while the liquid is dielectric which means that it is absolutely non conducting these modifications are required for optimal functioning the cdu forms a central part of this system each cdu is connected to four immersion racks and has a supply of both oil and water and is the method of rejection of heat that is originates from the servers into the water that is then cooled by the dry cooler on the roof so this approach towards alternate cooling which we call liquid immersion cooling promises a pue of 1.1 as compared to 1.6 which is available in air cooled system now in our data center we have implemented a hybrid model which is a mix of air cooled pclc and lic and this hybrid setup promises a pue of 1.27 which is still a 26% more efficient then doing this entire setup over air cooled systems india is expected to add 900 megawatts of data center capacity before 2025 as a tropical country cooling requirements here are significantly more than elsewhere in the world making it an ideal candidate for alternative cooling there is a potential over the next few years to save 300 megawatts of power which is just about enough to power 4 lakh homes or a mid sized town We at PhonePay are proud to bring India's first ever commercially used liquid immersion cool data center and, and yes we, we are, are just, just getting, getting started, started.